Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up your Xbox One S controller, this is the one with Bluetooth built in, to your Android mobile cell phone. So we're going to have to enable the Bluetooth on the phone to begin with. So you can either go to Settings and then you will see Bluetooth there or from your home screen here if you use two fingers and just scroll down from the top of two fingers it will bring up this menu here and then you will see Bluetooth with the symbol above it. If you actually click on the Bluetooth bit itself it's then going to bring up the Bluetooth page and just go to more settings. Now on the actual controller itself we just need to turn it on using the Xbox home button here and then what we have to do is we have to use the sync button or the pair button this button up here so we just hold that down there and then you will see it will start to flash rapidly so now that's looking for another Bluetooth device So if we go here if we just go to these little three dots up the top here because we need to refresh it now because we were a bit slow in doing that and see it says refresh so right now it's going to be looking for available devices nearby there you go, now it's brought up the Xbox wireless controller. So what we now have to do is just tap that and it will say pairing. There we go, and now it says Xbox wireless controller connected and also the Bluetooth symbols just changed up the top here. You've now got two dots either side of it. And also if you have a look, the light's gone to constant. So basically, you can now use the controller on your phone. Now, the problem is there's not a huge amount of support at the moment for this controller on Android phones. So you'll find that a lot of the games don't work properly. So you'd expect to use, for example, you know, this is the steering and this is the accelerator. But what will happen is sometimes you will have to, you know, press this button in to get it to do something. But uh, some games work better than others. So the simpler the game, so for example, hill climb now is really easy. You just use either these two buttons or the left analog stick just doing accelerate and brakes. So that's really easy. Some games won't work at all, but I'll show you uh, I'll show you a game working in a minute. But moving your way around the phone's quite nice. You just put the phone down there. You can see you can see that I'm scrolling around the phone. Yeah, and then B for back. If I hold that down, Google, B for back. So you can do a few a few things on the phone. So let's go to an actual game now. Let's go to Asphalt 8. Right, okay. I'm just going to go to Resume. Now, if you have a look here, it will be, that's reverse, and this is accelerate here. So this game does actually work like it's supposed to. So I'm using this one here to accelerate, and this one here to brake, and this one to steer. Left analog stick to steer. And then you can do the B for boost. and why for changing the angles the camera angles so you'll have to have a play around with different games as I say that a lot of the games that I've tried do not work but hopefully in the future they will work now I've got one more good thing to show you I'm now going to cast this screen onto my TV screen so basically I can just leave the phone here and the sound and the display will be actually coming through the TV there is a little bit of lag but it's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite a good idea. Right, so we're going to set up the screen mirror in now, and then I'm going to use the controller to play straight onto the TV. So again, two fingers down from the top to bring up this menu, and you will see where it says cast. Now this won't work on all TVs, but give it a go. So right now it's looking for the devices in the room or nearby that can pick up. So this is my TV here, and uh, sometimes you might find it might bring up your computer as well. So if it doesn't work on your TV, try it on your laptop or your computer. So now I'm going to go to TV there, and it will say connecting. 
and then in a moment it should come up on the actual TV. There we go, so it's connected up there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the game. That's it. And now what I should be able to do is I should be able to play it on the TV up there. Now there will be a bit of lag. And can you see the sounds coming through the TV as well? Let me lower that down a little bit. Yeah, so you get the idea. So now you can play on the big screen your mobile phone games. So as I say, at the moment there's not a huge amount of support for it, but give it time. This controller's only been out for a few months as far as I'm aware. So uh, hopefully after time it will... Uh, it will get more and more supported. Right, I hope you found the uh, video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want more how-to videos. Okay, take care now.